Hi, from Cape Town, the, after, the aftermath of the budgets 2023. The sun still shining here in Cape Town, beginning to go down in other parts of the country. When the sun goes down, will the lights come on? Well, it may depend on where you are, it may depend on what time, but it should be the last night of stage six load shedding for the moment, I'm, fra I'm afraid. Well, while I talk about that, a statement from Eskom released in just the last few moments, and they say tonight that Eskom welcomes and is grateful for the financial relief afforded by the government in the budget statement. Eskom will study the details of the plan, etc. Well, someone who's been looking at the budget, someone who's been getting a lot of reaction and analysis, and someone who understands the Eskom problem is our business editor, Kolani Mbandra. Kolani, good afternoon to you. How do you view that Eskom statement? They seem to be well, fairly relieved that they're getting 254 billion rand debt relief. I would certainly be relieved in their shoes right now because this is one area, major area, that they were asking for for a very long time. Um, particularly, investors are going to be relieved as well that part of the condition, Stephen, is that ESCOM cannot borrow any more money going forward because 256 billion rands is a lot of money for the national fiscus to take on. Now we have to assure investors locally and internationally, lo those who hold our local and foreign debt, why this is a good idea. But um, the measures are very, very important because there's still corruption inside ESCOM in how the maintenance of power stations has been taking place. So how these measures have been put there is something many of the uh, opposition political parties spoke about as well to say this is really, really important. Don't just give money to ESCOM, but there needs to be conditions. And these conditions, there's more conditions to uh, this particular bail out basically than the minister mentioned but they even go to things such as what kind of coal you are buying yeah. uh, or the measures that you are taking to make sure that you are not being swindled as you supply electricity to the country this is a major step uh, and i think it's going to firm up uh, south africa's credit standing with investors because uh, the minister has walked the line that he charted in october last year so there hasn't been any changes uh, and surprisingly for many the bailout, this uh, debt uh, uh, takeover to the national purse is actually more than what was actually announced by the minister. That last year he said about 200 billion rand would be taken over by the national fiscus. It is way more than that at 256 billion. So I hate to ask this question. Is it enough? It should be enough. It should give ESCOM leeway uh, yeah. to for maintenance because there are two problems that ESCOM has that are major. One is not only maintenance of these uh, power stations, it's also the debt that they have incurred. There are also guarantees that have been given by the National Treasury for ESCOM to buy diesel so that they can run the turbines now. So probably in the next couple of months we should expect to see uh, lower stages of load shedding, not stage six where we are currently on, because that was another major problem for ESCOM in a challenge that uh, we don't have money for diesel. We can't take, uh, keep on taking diesel on, or, 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 on a debt. Um, how do you think business is going to react to the tax incentive to get uh, rooftop solar or renewable energy? They're quite careful how they phrase that. They said renewable energy. 125%. So in other words, you invest as a company in electricity for your own business and you basically end up getting a bit of money from government for doing that. Is there going to be a rush at the gate so we're going to have a shortage of solar panels? Uh, we, the, the, the one industry that should be happy right now is the new renewable energy uh, sector. They are very happy right now because they are going to be getting this uh, uh, flood of uh, uh, business from private, from households that can afford underlying even for uh, small businesses that can afford but the minister did say for businesses this is built in as a loan but many businesses are very circumspect about taking more debt and this was evident 
in the 200 billion rent uh, 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 bank guaranteed scheme, only 18 billion rent was taken up by businesses because the, the repayment uh, conditions were too stringent. So they even changed that uh, COVID-19 200 billion rand uh, bank uh, guaranteed scheme uh, to a bounce back scheme. But uh, there hasn't been much uptake really. So it depends how much uh, debt you are willing to take as a business. And right now, businesses are just breathing above water just to pay salaries, just to pe keep people on. Many businesses are collapsing under the weight of uh, load shedding. So those businesses that can leverage, those businesses will be able to, those households that can do it will be able to, but many others won't be able to get there. Um, that's sort of lots of different things happening around personal finances. So no new taxes, right? Quite important. At the same time, we were talking to Dr. Numbek Mbaba, the chair of the Financial and Fiscal Commission, just a few moments ago, and she made the point that unless Eskim is able to actually implement its 18% tariff increase, then Eskim is not going to be able to function if it can't implement it. She said also if there are any delays, it won't be able to uh, actually function. The president doesn't want them to do it. We know most of society doesn't want them to do it. Are we at a kind of, what's the phrase the analysts use, inflection point here about whether we pay our debts as a country? Uh, not really, because uh, this particular uh, 256 billion rand intervention by the government writes off that 18 billion, uh, that 18 uh, percent increase, tariff increase. Now we don't need to talk about it, just that the, the government has to now state that that is no longer going to be implemented. But this is, there's something else to this, uh, Stephen. It doesn't mean that next year it's not going to come back. The ESCOM is still going to go on to recoup money that they have been spending to run these uh, uh, open cycle turbines uh, and that provide electricity uh, because that's how they are actually running at stage six right now. Next year is still going to happen. Municipalities are still going to put in more uh, tariff uh, or, or more uh, increases on electricity uh, uh, and other rates. So the high cost of living for um, households and businesses uh, and uh, the financial strain is not over yet. Kalani and Banja, there's not a cloud in the sky over Cape Town unless we listen to you, in which case the fiscal outlook is very cloudy indeed. Kalani, thank you very much indeed, our business editor.